Hi, welcome back. So a known carcinogen called NDMA has been found in metformin at above acceptable levels. That's in metformin produced and sold outside of the United States. The FDA have launched an investigation into NDMA levels in metformin that's sold in the USA. So let's take a quick look at the report by the FDA and also by Bloomberg. So firstly, I would like to thank um, Alan Zuckerman for bringing this to my attention and therefore allowing me to bring it to your attention, especially as I know some of you take metforming, which is unprescribed as part of your anti-aging uh, regime. Uh, and also there are some people that are probably considering taking metformin. And I know I do have quite a few followers and people that comment on the channel who are outside of the UK uh, and may be purchasing um, metformin, which is shown to be above the NDMA accepted levels. Uh, I'll put links in the description below to the three articles or the two main articles that I'll make reference to in this short video. Uh, I'm sure that some of you who take metformin may have already seen this information before, but I think it's important um, or worthwhile that you see it twice or three times as opposed to not seeing it at all. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into my computer and look at what the FDA and Bloomberg say about these high levels of NDMA in metformin. So let's first look at the statement from the FDA and what they say about this metformin incident investigation uh, and they mentioned that global health regulators have been and are currently looking into whether widely used diabetes drugs may contain unsafe levels of a carcinogen known as NDMA. Um, it has previously been found in unacceptable levels in heart and gastric medications. Now I know this to be true because here in the UAE they've withdrawn um, Zantac from pharmacy shelves because I believe that was one of the um, one of the drugs on the list. So the FDA said in a statement that the agency is testing samples of metformin in the US um, for unacceptable levels of NDMA. Uh, and as appropriate, so if they do find metformin with high levels, they will start the recall process. Now, NDMA is a common contaminant and it is found in water and most foods, including grilled meat, dairy products and vegetables and everybody is exposed, is exposed to some level of NDMA during the day. The acceptable daily intake of NDMA, the ADI, is 96 nanograms per day. Now, NDMA may increase the risk of cancer if people are exposed for long periods of time to more than 96 nanograms a day. However, they say that a person that takes a drug containing NDMA at or below the recommended daily intake every day for 70 years is not expected to have an increased risk of cancer. So that's what the FDA um, report says. Uh, and I will post a link to the complete report in the description below. So let's look at what the, the Bloomberg article says. So in the article, it tells us a FDA spokesman, Jeremy Kahn, has said in an email that the agency is the, in the beginning stages of testing for metformin. However, the agency is not confirmed if NDMA is above the ADI limit of 96 nanograms a day in the US. He went on to say that diabetes is a serious condition and patients who take metformin shouldn't stop taking it until they talk to their doctor. Um, the European Medical or European Medicines Agency has also said companies should test for high levels of NDMA in metformin. No dangerous levels have been detected in EU supplies to date. And again, patients should continue taking their diabetes treatments as prescribed. 
They also mentioned that metformin is made globally by a number of gen generic uh, drug makers. And although MDMA is known to cause cancer in animals, at the moment it's classified as a possible carcinogen in humans. Poland's health minister has said earlier that officials were scrutinizing metformin containing drugs, but that no, ha no products have been pulled to date because all NDMA samples were, uh, were found to have trace amounts. He also urged patients who are currently taking uh, metformin to continue to take the metformin because the benefit of taking the, the drug outweighed the theory of any cancer issues. Now in Singapore, health officials have recalled three out of 46 versions of metformin marketed after finding the NDMA amounts were above the acceptable level. <clears throat> Singapore's health authority did however say that the drug with the unacceptable levels had only been on sale for a short period of time and it had only um, been taken by uh, patients who were in Singapore and also the risk was comparatively low. Let's go back to the FDA report uh, and the FDA say that the investigations are going to take time and they fully understand that these issues affect patients health and their well-being in many ways. The FDA will communicate any information they have scientifically confirmed as quickly as possible to ensure the public knows as much as possible in as timely a manner as possible. So that's what it says in the two reports and again I'll leave links to both of these in the description below. So uh, I hope this has been helpful if you're either taking metformin or you're thinking about taking metformin as part of your anti-aging protocol. Uh, once again thanks very much to um, Alan Zuckerman for bringing this to my attention uh, and if anyone watching this comes across any other reports um, or articles which make reference to the main type of supplements that we all take or we're thinking about taking to help in the anti-aging process such as NMN, um, berberine, metformin, um, terastilbene etc then please send me the link um, and I'll look at it um, and if need be we can make another video like this so it's uh, it can inform those people who are thinking about introducing anti-aging supplements into their um, into their daily regime so thanks for watching um, as usual take care uh, and see you again soon bye for now